going on guys it is your boy beer gut plays here back at it with another episode of the wwe 2k24 my gm mode now hopefully you guys have enjoyed the content so far if you guys like the content and you want to see this channel grow make sure you soon kick that like button comment down below subscribe to the channel for more content be sure to check out the channel's sponsor for today w energy w energy i'll leave the link in the video description below use the code beer gut at checkout and you'll save yourself a discount on your order let me tell you guys i swear by their product it is absolutely delicious it's one of the better energy drinks that i have used so far it, it it's great give it a check for yourself use the code beer gut at checkout you'll save yourself 10 percent on your order be sure to check out the series playlist for this i will leave it posted in the top right hand corner right here let me tell you guys it has been a very exciting time so far these episodes are going to be dropping every tuesday and thursday so be on the lookout for that. I'm having a lot of fun just dropping content, hitting my stride as a content creator. 473 subscribers as of this recording. So definitely, if you like or uh, if you are enjoying the content, make sure you hit that like button. We are going to get to the actual line, uh, the actual card for tonight's show. It is going to be an exciting one, and as you guys can see, Braun Breaker newly. Uh, acquired Braun Breaker is going to be taking on Jey Uso in the opening matchup, non-title matchup. Your ta women's tag team titles are going to be defended against Thea Hale and Gigi Dolan. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell are your current women tag women's tag team champions. Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes is going to be doing battle against the Judgment Day members um jd mcdonough and finn balor in your main event it is a ladies triple threat match alexa bliss gonna be taking on oscar and bianca belair bianca belair's women's world title will not be contested in this matchup should be a banger of a match i'm super excited for it if you guys have not noticed, um, the game plan is to try and build Braun Breaker to be that I see, you know, be that secondary champion. Jey Uso, I do want to move him to a world title championship, um, you know, position. He's got a pretty good uh, popularity rating. Damian Priest currently feuding with Bray Wyatt. We need somebody to kind of... Uh, you know, bring over the next, uh, you know, be the next world champ, be the next contender. It could be Jey Uso. We also have a couple of ideas floating around in the noggin. It, it is going to be a lot of fun. It is going to be a good one. We are going to get this show on the road. As you guys can see, no gimmick matches tonight. We're going to get this first match up underway in Birmingham, Alabama. The badass Braun Breaker on his way to the ring. And I just, uh, we're recording this Monday night. I just finished watching Monday Night Raw. Really happy to see Braun Breaker re regain the IC title. I am a huge fan of his. I, I, I like both, both superstars, but uh, let me tell you, Braun will be a world champion IRL in three years or less. Uh, I'm very much taking that old that Jim Cornette uh, stance with the rock on Braun Breaker. He has the pedigree. He is solid in the ring. The one thing I feel like he is lacking, but he is getting better, is promo. It, it, he's getting better. I, I don't know if he's going to be able to, you know, be a big promo guy or if he's going to need like a Paul Heyman or something like that on on the mic for him but the dude is phenomenally gifted in the ring and you know former nfl player granite 
he didn't he never did play a regular season game he was on the Baltimore Ravens practice squad or um excuse me preseason roster and then got cut I think he was a late cut too sound off in the comments if he was a late cut or not and now Jay Uso on his way to the ring I, I am a huge, huge, huge Jey Uso fan. I, it, it was finally nice to see him get a little bit of recognition. It's kind of funny. In this uh, My GM mode, we've given him th more props than what he was getting on TV. And he was having great matches. The, the, the character is super over. But I, I, I know they're cooking something bigger for him. And Jey Uso is getting ready to, to have a solid, solid matchup up against Braun Breaker. This is going to be a really good matchup, by the way. I, I, I can't wait. It is going to be really good. Let's let's just see. I, I I think these two can have a phenomenal feud, and I feel like this is going to be one of our bigger matches on Monday Night Raw. Braun Breaker and Main Event Jay Uso to start this show off, and the ref calls for the bell. Jay Uso levels Braun Breaker with a kick. And Braun Breaker getting started with the choke slam. And they're on the outside. Double underhook to a powerbomb. Oh my god, these two are absolutely just getting this war started on the outside. Braun Breaker puts it back in the ring. And Jey Uso with the counter. But Jey Uso misses the chop and they lock up. Is it going to be another double underhook powerbomb? Yes, it is. Braun Breaker going for the cover. And not even a two count. And now Braun Breaker. Spear! Oh my goodness. Braun Breaker going for the cover. Is this going to be enough to put away Jey Uso? It is not. Only a two count. And now the Steiner Recliner locked in. And Jey Uso gets out of it. And now Jey Uso in control of this matchup. What a counter by bon Braun Breaker. And now Jey Uso. These two are just reversing each other move for move. Another spear by bon Braun Breaker. Leg is hooked. Jey Uso gets that shoulder up at two and a half. Got him by the throat, but Jey Uso powers out in a headbutt to Braun Breaker. They lock up. DDT, Jey Uso in control of this matchup. And Spine Buster. Braun Breaker crawling towards the corner. And a headbutt in the corner. What a counter by Braun Breaker as these two are absolutely just having a war. Double underhook, powerbomb for the third time this matchup, and now Braun Breaker heading to the top rope. High risk, high reward, hits the splash, hooks the leg. And that's going to be a three count. Braun Breaker victorious in this matchup. Holy moly. Who would have thought? And I'm sorry, just uh, so I play fantasy football. Uh, I love, I love, uh, I have a very good team. Currently sitting at four and two, um, taking on my mom's husband. And it looks like I am going to win. He has only a 2% chance of winning. That's what happens when you get Lamar Jackson on your team. 
Say flowers didn't really do anything. And now we are on the second match of the card. Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae going up against Thea Hale and Gigi Dolan. I was actually going to silence my phone, but just trying to turn it. Crap. Sorry about that, guys. We are having a killer, killer matchup. You know, and I, I've told this story before. Um, a couple months ago, the family dog uh, suddenly passed away. I, I shouldn't say suddenly, but had him since like my first year out of, out of high school. I'm now 37, you know, a little bit of gray in the beard, but oh well. And I took some time to reevaluate some things. I, I, I maybe took like a week off from, from doing this. Just kind of got my mind right. And we're back. And yeah, you know, I've had some really great months. And I do want to, you know, subscriber wise. And I want to thank each and every single one of you for checking out the channel. Whether it be via the shorts, this series, some of the other stuff that I'm running on here. Um we're we're less than 30 subscribers away from hitting 500 and i told you guys once i hit 500 we will do a live stream a q a live stream i figured that would be a lot of fun we could do some cool stuff we could uh talk some wrestling talk some nascar talk some just sports talk some whatever um friday i will be dropping a video um uh, a state of the channel I guess you would say state of the channel and it, there is going to be an announcement on there I, I want to keep it under wraps for right now um, but also the announcement of something else that I am going to be starting here on YouTube in the near future thought it'd be kind of cool it would be a lot of fun we could you know we'll discuss it then as we have Thea Hale on her way to the ring. Let me be honest with you. It's an interesting ta tag team. It was kind of a, a hodgepodge tag team, but I, I, I have some bigger things in plan for this women's tag team division. Um, just bear with me, okay? It, it's very much hodgepodge for right now, but your boy beer gut has some some better ideas what's going to happen with this this women's tag team division and now on her way to the ring former toxic attraction member and god she is I, I enjoy her work I think she is awesome in the ring Gigi Dolan uh well I haven't wa like I said haven't watched NXT in a long long time it's just I'm a I'm a straight shoot with you guys I I probably would watch it nothing against the CW it's I, I love the fact that they're airing NXT over broadcast television you know on Tuesdays on CW which I, I know in my area CW is a local channel but I just with so much res wrestling I, I kind of stick to what I just enjoy you know WWE the main roster and it's I would like to start watching it. Maybe I'll start watching the pay-per-views again, the the PLEs, whatever the hell they're called. But it's just been such a hectic, hectic past couple months for me. Uh, with the with the the new upload schedule, I feel like this is the best way to you know upload on this channel. 
you know, I do watch Monday nights. I, I watch Fridays. I watch the PLEs. It, it, it's just... <sighs> I'm sure NXT is a great product, not going to lie. I, I'm not going to deny it. Shawn Michaels has got a great mind for wrestling. and just not enough time in the day, unfortunately. And now these four women ready to square off. And those titles are going to be on the line. Jeez, that referee is creepy looking. Uh, he, he's just had the most stoic face I've ever seen. And referee calls for the bell. Going to start out with Indy and Thea Hale. Thea Hale got leveled with a boot. And Indy Hartwell in the zone. Oh, that planning DDT and hooks that leg. Gigi Dolan breaks up that pin at two. She just came flying from off screen. And Gigi Dolan is knocked off the apron. Can, can Thea Hale get... Or, I'm sorry. It's late at night. It's like 10, 18. Uh, full Nelson, but Thea Hale powers out and reverses it. Now, Thea Hale is looking to get in control as... Whips Thea Hale off the ropes, misses the splash. Thea Hale doing everything she can to to get a move. Whoa, what a maneuver by Indy Hartwell. Hits that big boot, knocks her, knocks down Gigi Dolan. Oh, what a counter. And whips her off the ropes. Flapjack! Oh my god! Thea Hale is not letting me hit that finisher on her. Mishinoku driver and the leg is hooked. Not even a one count. And now... Oh my god. She absolutely missed on the senton splash. These women are battling outside the ring. Why is Thea Hale just going complete zombie mode? I, I, I'm not understanding this match whatsoever, but I am fine with it. What a counter in the referee's count is up to six. And the full Nelson... Plants her back down, and both ladies are down. Are we going to get a count-out draw here? Yes, we are. As you can see, Indy Hartwell just crawling. Army crawling. Two stars. Okay, that's fair. Up next, though, Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes taking on J.D. McDonough and Finn Balor of The Judgment Day. You know, funny thing is, is it, I... I I didn't know this until I watched an interview with Trick Williams. Uh, I think it was with Chris Van Vliet, which, by the way, he is... I feel like he is one of the best interviewers, period. Uh, Chris Van Vliet interviewed him. I didn't know he, um, he... He was on the Eagles roster at some point. I, I forget uh, what around what time frame... Uh, I, I just saw a clip. I didn't watch the whole vi interview. Um, but he was a wide receiver. I, I mean, I could see it. I could definitely believe it. I just had no clue. So, me, if you guys watch any of the other stuff that I do on this channel, me being a beloved, diehard Washington Commanders fan, man, that hurt because I love Trick Williams. I mean, at least he wasn't a cowboy or a giant, but God, that is a absolute kick to the gut. And now on his way to the ring, he is him, Carmelo Hayes. That is such a cool entrance, by the way. I feel like this was kind of the perfect um, way to potentially 
have a feud between Carmella and Trick do very much like their NXT rivalry was now. I, again, did not really watch, do not really watch NXT like that. Um, I did get to go to NXT TakeOver WrestleMania weekend, and I, I'm not going to say it was better than, than WrestleMania, because WrestleMania was a out-of-body experience, um, but that was pretty cool, the... Um, the um, NXT show and Carmelo absolutely I, you know I, I, I've watched Smackdown religiously especially now that it's on USA Network I, I, I'll be the first to tell you I hated the Fox the Fox era it was cool for a while and then you could tell they were Fox was losing money on it and they stopped caring. And now the former tag team champions, Finn Balor, JD McDonough, on their way to the ring. Again, sorry guys. It has just been a really hectic day for me. I got off at a decent hour, but ugh, sorry. I'm usually at least laying in bed by now, but um, Sunday I I slept most of the day. I think I played a little bit of video games, watched watched my NASCAR race, watched a little bit of the Commanders football game. And I want to say I was out by 8 39 o'clock. <laughs> um, yeah. I've also, uh, again, not to divulge too much into my personal life, but with my trip to WrestleCade coming up this, this, well, in the next month, I, um, I've been picking up extra shifts at work, so. And JD McDonough the roll through and the mushroom stomp just to get this match started. They lock up, kick in the gut, and it is a brain basta. And drops Trick Williams right on his head. Trick Williams tags in Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes knocks off Finn Balor. What a maneuver! A a um a flip suicida all over the rope. That is amazing. JD McDonough with a standing moonsault on the outside. I feel like these two are going to have like such a fun encounter. And JD. Uh oh. Butterfly suplex. And. What? Whoa. Come on. What? Not realistic whatsoever, bro. Kick to the gut. And a neck breaker. Carmelo is getting this thing started. The headbutt. And the suplex drops. Trick on his head. JD hurting right here and the tag in to Finn Balor and a little bit of double team action by the former tag team champs as Finn Balor goes to work and I can't be the only person who thinks this that that looks like such a unrealistic move I understand video game but as uh, it just looks so phony to me Finn Balor is in complete control of this matchup and drops Finn Balor with a back breaker and Carmelo tags into Trick again. These two are working like a well-oiled machine and Trick hits the flying clothesline 
Finn Balor getting covered here, but not even a one count. Reverses him off the ropes. Japanese arm drag. And what is Finn Balor going to do? Uh-oh. The shotgun drop kick in the corner. That can't feel good. And knocks. Carmelo Carmelo's going to just no sell it. Oh. Oh, what a count. Whoa. And now he's got Trick Williams up. Drops him with a gut buster. Cannot quite make the tag. Oh, what a counter. Come on. There we go. And now Finn Balor. 1916 Brain Busta. And hooks the leg. Referee in position. And that is a three count. Judgment Day victorious. What a big time victory for the former tag team champions of the world. And could we see potential new tag team champions here to, uh, well, here in the near future? It's a very much a possibility. I guess we could see what a good tag team showing by Finn Balor and JD McDonough. They were on a little bit of a losing streak and now they pick up a big victory. Bray Wyatt going to call out Damian Priest. Cool. We are into the main event. The three top women on our brand. Remember, we, saw, we stole this woman right here from Monday Night Raw. There was a lot of good selections uh, with, with the cheat code card that Xavier Woods has. There's a lot of cool options. I went with Alexa Bliss, mainly because my stupid ass released excuse me, released Rhea Ripley. I don't know why I did that. I, I was probably a little inebriated, if we're just being honest. It was not my brightest moment. Uh, but I think we rec recovered nicely. We were able to get Bianca Belair. We got Alexa Bliss, who, I'll be honest, I am waiting for her return. I feel like she is one of the better women's talent and the only thing I I, I don't want to see is it, her joining the Wyatt Six I'd be cool with her coming out with the with the doll because her and Bray you know really formed a, a close friendship during their time working together that I don't have a problem with her she wants to wear a Bray Wyatt armband but Honestly, keep her away from the Wyatt Six. Nothing, and I don't think she would. It, it would be a problem. Like, how do I want to put this? As Asuka makes her way to the ring, I don't think. I think the sixth person, you know, because it's supposed to be the Wyatt Six, even though it's spelled S I S I C K S. The sixth person should be. Bray Wyatt always. You have the five. You have Joe Gacy. You have Eric Rowan. You have um, Dexter Loomis, Bo Dallas, Nikki Cross, and that sixth person needs needs to just stay Bray Wyatt as a fitting tribute. And I know I'm kind of yapping on here, but I I kind of just like talking about wrestling in in between these entrances and then we get to call the action by the way juggalo oscar never thought i'd see the day but whatever and now your women's world champion bianca belair on her way to the ring let me tell you, if I'm able to either grab Jade Cargill, Kyrie Sane, um, J or JC Jane, I will cut Thea Hale in a heartbeat and probably end up if I don't if I'm not able to grab JC Jane, I, I would probably end up cutting um 
Uh, Gigi Dolan, too. Sorry. By the way, not real glasses, if, if you guys already didn't know. I, I know, stupid thing to, 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 to... I had LASIK about 10 years ago, and no, no issues with my eyes. It's me staring at the screen with the lights, everything like that. Uh, just in general, I get headaches and migraines after a while, so I, I, I figure it just kind of helps. And the referee calls for the bell. Asuka tees off on Alexa Bliss, and Alexa Bliss gets dropped with a German suplex. What a counter by Asuka. Asuka looking to just take complete control of this matchup, but a front suplex by Bianca Belair. Roll through and a front choke by Alexa Bliss, but Bianca Belair able to get herself free. And the kick to the back. There is a steel chair in the match. And Bianca was looking for that splash, but Asuka cuts her off. Front suplex. What the hell was that? And Asuka is on the outside. What a drop. Well, no. Bianca was able to get herself free and gets a German suplex for her trouble. Oh, what a counter. They lock up. What a maneuver. Roll up and Asuka might steal it here. Nope. And Bianca Belair just drops Alexa Bliss on her head and a roll through. What is Asuka doing? Nope. Reversal and takes out the referee and breaks up the pin. Oh, what a clothesline. Able to get out of the... What a kick. And what's Osk? Nope. Poison missed! Oh. oh my god. And now the chair drops her with the elbow. And now Bianca Belair... Front suplex again now. Uh, uh oh, up on the shoulders. KOD. And is that going to be enough to put away Alexa Bliss? Spear. And Alexa is still down. Asuka on the outside. And Bianca Belair goes for the cover. And that is a three count. Bianca Belair is your winner. Wasn't a title match, but more of a statement victory for Bianca Belair. She is looking to be a more dominant world champion than our predecessor, Rhea Ripley, who was really dominant two and a half stars to end the show that's not what i expected out of when i was booking that match in my mind but happens angel garza defeats braun Strowman. well let's smack down cook i guess not a bad one Interesting tag teams here. KO and Channing stacks Tatum. Or, or Tatum. Lorenzo. God. I'm an idiot. Shinsuke Nakamura is able to retain the IC title. And four-star match to end the show. Not super worried. $193,000 though to work with. We're going to set our pay-per-view and that will be airing on Thursday. Thanks. Logan Paul. Logan Paul is thankful we gave him his promo. 
we're gonna do the backlash arena okay is there something here renowned stars dragon lee drew gulak mark coffee alba fire interesting do we have uh oh what's the girl's name roman reigns batista ronda rousey i i, I would take ronda but uh, i gotta grab the otc right here the original tribal chief second time appearing on this monday night raw roster remember he showed up towards the end of season one and i'm very happy with it we only got twenty two thousand dollars though to work with the work uh your opener it is going to be braun strom or braun breaker and jay uso for the ic title that's just going to be a tables match and of course remember cards subject to change Roman Reigns is going to cut an advertising promo. Hmm. Logan Paul versus LA Knight. Yeah. Alexa Bliss going to cut a big time promo for us. Make us that money back, baby. Gunther going to take on... Carmelo Hayes there is going to be a little bit of a run in as Trick Williams is going to jump Walter that should be fun advertising Candice LeRae going to do a little advertising semi main event uh, no that's not going to be the match sorry it is going to be Bianca Belair and Asuka and advertising the last little bit of advertising Finn Balor okay and your main event for Backlash Bray Wyatt and Damian Priest in a extreme rules match I feel yeah yep that's perfect that is perfect guys well gonna be the end of the episode hopefully y'all enjoyed it if you guys like the content you want to see this channel grow make sure you super kick the like button comment down below subscribe to the channel for more be sure to check out the other series that i'm running on this channel i did the little plug ski at the beginning of the video i'm gonna do another plug ski to promote more of the content you're a nascar fan Saturday night live streams on NASCAR Heat 5. It's going to be one of the four corners. And Monday night or Monday afternoon, NASCAR, the game inside line season with Dale Jr. You're going to be in one of the four corners right here. NHL 25. That is airing every Sunday night or Sunday afternoon. It'll be one of the four corners. And Madden 25 Washington Commanders franchise live stream going to be in one of the corners of uh, in one of the four corners wednesday nights well guys i gotta get out of here it's way past beer guts bedtime hopefully y'all enjoyed it if you guys like the content and i well you like the content hit that like button i'll see y'all in the next video peace